Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. understand there's an attack on the Constitution. Now, again, I'm not politically editorializing, but the enemies of the Second Amendment, or when you have judges just legislating from the bench like the Supreme Court did on Obamacare. Congress passed a law, and the Supreme Court rewrote the law and said it's a tax. That's not what Congress voted for. This, 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 this terrible man, Roberts, in the Supreme Court, and backed by justices like Kennedy and Kagan and, 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 and Ginsburg and Sotomayor, I mean, terrible people. They're openly in violation of the Constitution. It doesn't matter. The Constitution does not matter to them. Well, understand something. As we pointed out before, Jesus was emphatic. You will be brought before governors and kings, but he also said you will be brought before magistrates and kings. The judiciary is going to usurp power to which it is not constitutionally entitled, and that's already happening. Now, Satan is orchestrating this because ultimately it's going to be used to suppress free speech and freedom of religion. That is happening already. It's happening already. The religious conviction of Christians, look what the Supreme Court did last week with that case in Seattle, trying to force a pharmacy to provide abortion products against the religious convictions of the pharmacy, of, of, of the owners of the pharmacy. This is what is happening. You'll be brought before magistrates and kings. Again, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Maranatha, Mar Anatha. I cannot wait for those judges to stand before the judge. They will spend eternity in the lake of fire. Now I would plead for God's mercy on America as a nation. And I would much prefer those wicked judges and these organizations like Planned Parenthood, but baby butchers. That's what they were doing. They were selling body parts and getting away with it. I would much prefer that such people repented and believed the gospel the way Jane Doe did in Roe versus Wade. And Jane Roe in Roe versus Wade, she repented and believed the gospel. I would much prefer they would do what Jane Roe did. But it's very unlikely most of them will. They will stand before the judge. The lake of fire is waiting for them. Hillary Clinton, doesn't matter if you win the election. The lake of fire is waiting for you. Barack Obama, the lake of fire is waiting for you. George Bush, who put a Koran in the White House, a book that says God has no son, and refuse to say if homosexuality was wrong, take the log out of your own eye. That's not what take the log out of your own eye means. They will stand before the judge. Few of them will be saved. Now Romans chapter 1 tells us something. Not only does God give the practitioners of these perversions over to their perversion to think it's normal. We are told in Romans chapter 1, those who condone such things are put in the same category. If you condone it, you become co-equally culpable of it. Romans is clear. We are told that those who practice such things are worthy of death. They not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice them. Barack Obama lighting the White House up in the colors of the homosexual flag, giving hearty approval. 
He's going to the lake of fire. It is very unlikely a man like that will ever get saved. According to Romans chapter 1, he will spend eternity in the lake of fire. May the day come quickly when Jesus returns. That's the only thing ultimately going to stop this. The most we can hope for and pray for. In the meanwhile, are interim periods of respite that God will intervene and send us a caliber of leader, both in the church and in the governments, that we don't deserve because of our sin and rebellion against him. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Thank you.